good morning good afternoon how are you doing this wonderful day it's great i'm alive i'm kicking i'm fine and i can say god has healed me i was feeling not so good but i can feel god is healing me and that is why i'm here you know i want to give you word that if you don't have the word like the the word i have had today if you don't have the word in your heart even if you say it it doesn't mean it you can say you are christian like the way i had today yes many say they are christian many say they are saved they're born again but they don't have it in their heart that means you just saying you're christian because it's the only way people can understand who your religion but being a christian means a lot means you're focused means your heart your soul your body is in the same thing it's not just being a christian it's just that inside your heart you are so you mean what you say you know don't just be saying you're christian well in your your heart you are so troubled you feel like you don't want to see anybody you see that you always you know you, you say you're christian yet you don't show your christianity you feel sad because someone has not done this somebody didn't do this to you you know i'm talking to somebody don't carry people in your heart don't have burdens in your heart if somebody did this to you just forgive them me i forgive everybody those who have wronged me those who have done so much for me those who have talked about me i've forgiven them because i cannot keep you in my heart and then i miss a praise for my god for my jesus i need a praise for my jesus in my heart I need to feel the God presence. I need to feel God joy. I don't want to feel hatred. I don't want to feel every time I wake up, I'm thinking about what you did. Let me tell you, Christian, if you want to be a good Christian, show an example to other Christians, to other people, even those who don't believe in God. They will believe in God because of you. They will see God in you and they will trust in this God. Don't just pretend and then other things you are doing, other stuff. You know, Christianity is something you have to feel it in the heart. You can be Christian, yet you are not Christian in the heart. That is, doesn't mean you are Christian like other one. You have to be Christian, behave like a Christian, feel like Christian. But what about your heart? What about your heart? Are you Christian? Uh, is Jesus inside you? Or do, have you... You know, the Christian is many things. You know, people... And you know, in the Bible, in the book of Acts, Jesus said, I'll give you the helper so that you can be able to understand the word of God. Now, you are Christian and you don't have all spirit. How do you know? How do you understand the word of God? I have... I have understand many. That's why you, you as a Christian, as a preacher, as a reverend, as a, as a evangelist, wherever you are, you should watch other people's videos. You should watch other preachers preach because you may be, you may think you know everything, yet you know nothing. You should watch. You will learn from others what you don't know because you cannot know everything. You cannot know. 100% everything you want. You need to listen. You need to listen to others. You need to understand others. You need to feel the one from others. Because you also need to defend the word of God from other people. You don't confess yourself with the word. And that is why I've run to myself. I should learn to defend the word of God. I've learned so much today. I've learned so much this time I focused on my Christianity, on my vision, on my on my Holy Spirit, because I don't need to pray too much, to shout too much. I don't need 
to cry too much. I don't need too much. I just need Jesus. And I'm all again. I just need all the spirit to, to come within me, to be inside me, to be in my presence, to be everywhere I am, to utter the ones I'm uttering right now. So that when you see this, you be touched and filled with the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot know Jesus so much. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you cannot know how to pray. And I understand the Holy Spirit is the only source of a prayer. The Holy Spirit can teach you to talk in tongues, can teach you how to pray. If you welcome the Holy Spirit inside you, welcome the Holy Spirit so that it can teach you what you don't know. Because without the Holy Spirit, you cannot know God. You cannot know Jesus as sins. You cannot know Jesus is the Son of God. You cannot know He lost again. And you cannot know that He has the power to heal the diseases, the sickness, even uncured diseases. He can cure them as you had the word in your mouth. That means you are healed. You have to utter that name. You have to utter the name of Jesus. You have to utter the name of Holy Spirit. And the Father, three of them together, they make the perfect hearing, perfect touch, perfect deliverance. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot interpret the word of God. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot be able to teach people the word of God. We need the Holy Spirit. To a heart, in our spirit, in our mind, in our thoughts. Whatever you are saying, let the Holy Spirit guide you. Let the Holy Spirit teach you which way and how and when and how you should contact God. We have to be in contact in God through our heart. Let be in contact. I have learned a lot today and you should learn too. Learn to listen to the word of God. Learn to listen to the men of God. There are many who have been sent to teach you, but you are too busy. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen to the word of God. Your time is just listening to no wordless music, wordless uh, movies, but you don't have time to listen to the word of God. And that is why when you have problems, it's only you go fight God. When you are Misfortune is when you are going to find God. You are just going to the forfeit. You are going to the churches one after another. Let me tell you, you will go to one to one to one hundred, but you never see the success. You never see the answers you are seeking for. If you don't welcome Jesus in your heart, in your soul, and your body, and say to the Holy Spirit to get in contact with you, so that you can be able to contact to God. <coughs> Sorry about that. My, sorry about that. Ah, <sighs> yes. Mm, God, may God heal me, so I don't cough again. And this is my last day of coughing and having this food inside me. I will be free, and I will be testifying that God has healed me. This coughing, you can feel. <coughs> sorry. That is attacking me now because it doesn't want me to finish the wonder of God, but I'll finish it whether this this <coughs> this coughing attack me or not. I'm healed through Jesus who strengthens me. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Through the blood of Jesus, I'm healed through the blood of Jesus. I'm free from this disease. <coughs> I'm free and I'm free and I'm free and I'm free in Jesus name. I'm well, I'm well, I'm healed through the Holy Spirit. I declare and I testify that I'm healed today. I'm healed through the blood of Jesus, which was sent on Calvary. I'm healed no matter how the body feels. I'm healed because God, the God I serve is greater than this, the, this sickness. This disease which is tormenting me now. I'm healed because God paid it all on the cross. I'm healed because I'm going to testify. God is the healer. <coughs> Through the Holy Spirit of God. I'm well and I claim it and I believe it. 
And I say, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing me. Thank you, Jesus, for I'm received the miracle of hearing through Jesus. And I claim it and I say it right now in front of the viewer. We we'll review this, whatever we we'll review it, whenever you have time, view to the head. And let me tell you, the God I serve is not sleeping. He will touch me once more and I'll be healed. And I believe it and I testify it through Jesus, my Savior. In the name of Jesus, I'm favored. Through the grace of God, I'm well again. And I will testify over and over again. I'm well through Jesus' name. It doesn't matter how my body feels. It doesn't matter what I'm feeling right now. What I know is I'm healed through Jesus Christ. And I'm fine and I'm well. And I can testify that next year, same day today, I will be telling you this. What God has done in my life is greater. He has answered my prayers. I've prayed so many times. i prayed to God. i prayed for many things. And God has answered me. Now it is time for me to be healed. So I can testify that God is the Savior. That God is the healer. And I will claim it. And I will testify it through Jesus. I'm healed. Through the Holy Spirit of God, I testify that in my heart, in my soul, I feel it. And I testify it through Jesus, my Savior and my era. I'm fine and I'm thankful that God is hearing this tonight. And I'm thankful that you watch this and you know that God is safety and God is here. I'm strong because God is saving me. And I know that the Bible tells me, no matter what, I call on the name of Jesus and I'll be free. In Jesus' name. I'm fine. Be blessed. I remember to call on the name of Jesus. <coughs> <coughs> All the time, don't worry about my coughing or or what's go I'm I'm going through right now. That doesn't make me feel I'm I'm not healed. It's it's making me thank God, because the feelings and the coughing doesn't make me change my mind that Jesus has healed me. Jesus has healed me, no matter what. 